All right, Shalom. First of all, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodesh. And of course, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who will well. And peace and salutations to all sincere Achim that are out there, of course, risking their lives and the freedom to bring out this Amoth, which is the truth of the scriptures. It's the brother um, uh, Mafa and the, the brother uh, Yeshaya from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp here, located in Philadelphia. Bab Great Babylon, which is America, coming again with another lesson due to the Chakodash. So we have currently um, 2019 upon us, in which the Apostle Elder Tahar deemed it or coined it as the year of Karagma, which we're going to go into the word Karagma, all right, so that you understand that we're going into this uh, incision of this uh, RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast also known as the NFC chip, all right, and it's upon us, and it's being utilized today, and we're just waiting for it, of course, to be implemented as mandatory to all inhabitants of the earth, and the RFID microchip is the chip, all right, and the scriptures do speak and tell it, all right, so we just going to go in the spirit, we got um, certain scriptures we're going to bring up, all right, so you can start, I this is um, Revelations, Chapter 13, verse 15. It says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. Which you go into the image of the beast is the uh, Roman system. All right. In which, of course, you have it where you have the, the, the democracy, the idolatry. All right. Um, these are, um, let me see, I'm going to go into some more, uh, part of the image of the beast, all right, which the beast is uh, NATO and the EU, all right, just so that you know, okay, um, that, of course, is set up, all right, uh, they want, of course, uh, Jake to be fully engrossed within this uh, system, which is a Roman system, all right, you can read on now. Okay. Uh, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. So the, the, he is the so-called white man, the eat, elite of them, all right, which are Edomites, okay? The Edomites, all right, uh, pursuant to the book of Job 9 and 24, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked, all right? And Malachi 1 and 4 it describes that they're the wicked, all right? The Edomites have control of this earth, so they, all right, are going to cause all, all right, which you can go into, go into that word for all, all right, real quick. All right, so here they got all for here, uh, going down, all right. Now they have here, you can read it, uh, this one right here, chapter, yeah. It says, um, each, every any, all, the whole, everyone, all things, everything. Right. So that, of course, is going to be in uh, like a oikomene sense, all right, meaning all of the inhabitants of the earth, okay? This uh, particular Greek word here is... Strong's G, 3956. Pas. 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 Right. So it's everyone, okay? Now I'll go back. To, uh, so read it again and then go into the word from Mark. Okay. Verse 16 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. So we're going to go into the actual word from Mark. All right. Okay. Because you have to understand that the Bible was translated, all right, out of the Hebrew you know, the, into the Greek, you know, um, Latin. All right. So we have to go in, into the actual original words to be able to understand what is written there and have the Recha Kodash, the Holy Spirit, working with us. All right, so read uh, the word for the actual Greek word. Okay, it says um, Karagma. All right, Karagma, I'm going to the definition. It says a stamp and imprinted mark. Okay. And also, it says um, thing carved, sculpture, graven work. Right. You know, so this, of course, is a thing that is what? Carved beneath your skin, all right? Also, it got on there, you know, it got, it says a mark branded upon horses, 
all right, which of course the the so-called white man considered us as what nothing but the so-called meaning the Israelite so-called Negro Latino the American as nothing but property, all right. And I mean, basically, all of the people they tax them, they give them social security cards, they give them birth certificates, all right. So now going to um, the word, the root word, all right, for um, karagma. Yep. It says karaks. All right. Now read the, the definition of it. It says a pale or steak, a palisade. A palisade. Palisade. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, this uh, we got over there. Uh, um, I can go into the trench, but. You know, this basically uh, is a scratch and it goes inside of you, all right, which when you go into the technology, which we're going to go into when we go into the uh, actual article, go to the actual article real quick. This, read, read uh, uh, the uh, article title. It says, um, alarm over talks to implant UK employees with microchips. Right. So this, of course, is the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, okay? Now, you have it here. There's an alarm, all right, which you can uh, go into the definition of alarm. Just uh, go to it. All right, read it. It says, an anxious awareness of danger. And it has an example. It says, the boat, the boat tilted and the boatman cried out in alarm. Right, and then we like here. Okay. It says we spun around in alarm, fear, anxiety, apprehension, trepidation, nervousness, unease, distress, right. agitation. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, so you have it there. It's alarm, all right, which is going is it's starting at unease or distress, all right, uh, uneasiness because there are what talks about a implant in the UK, uh, implanting what. Um, Employees with microchips. All right, so you can uh, read a bit. Okay. It says, yep. it says Britain's biggest employer organization and main trade union body have sounded the alarm over the prospect of British companies implanting staff with microchips to improve security. Says, right. So they want to, of course, improve security. All right. Which you go into it. This. Uh, this actual R for the microchip, also known as the NFC chip or near fear communication, it has a uh, ability to authenticate your identity. All right, which the so called white man who's Esau Edom, he wants to um, to minimize the amount of people that are um, going about falsifying their identity. Okay, white collar crime. All right, he wants everyone to be able to be uh, to be authenticated, and he's going to use the me means of technology. Because he has a thing called the Internet of Things, all right, in which he has, uh, all, you know, he wants all devices, everyone basically under this, the whole system, okay, as just nothing but a product, all right. I read. It says, UK firm Biotech, which offers the implants to businesses and individuals, has already fitted 150 implants in the UK. Ah, right, so you have that. There's already people, all right, and this was published actually in uh, the year of, uh, uh, 2018, all right, people, there's people already walking about in the UK that have the microchip implant, all right, so it's not something that is far-fetched, all right, this, of course, is already happening, it just ain't mandatory, all right, read, okay. it says the tiny chips implanted in the flesh between the thumb and forefinger are similar to those for pets, they enable people to open their front door, access their office, or start their car with a wave of their hand, and can also store Medical data. Right. So within it, of course, it can hold medical data. Also, of course, it can have uh, your banking information, which it can buy and sell. All right. And you, you can see that within Sweden. All right. It may, of course, uh, cover that here in this article. All right. And now go real quick to um, the uh, Revelation again, 13, and about when it says buy and sell. This is um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. It says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. So that um, no man might buy or sell. You know, if you, you got to have this mark of the beast, all right, which is the RFID microchip, uh, a.k.a. An NFC chip in Europe, all right, to be able to buy or sell. Okay. 
Simple as that, okay? So, you when you, of course, uh, you know, you have other Hebrews like Camps talking about uh, the RFID microchip. All right, it's not, the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast. Um, and they going about, this is a philosophy and all this other okay. stuff. It's not making sense, all right? It's having sex with white women. Yeah, or what? You Eating white women. So. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah, 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 that, yeah, they say that, you know? Because we know that a, a lot of these camps, you know, uh, they actually, um, you know, they they, they, they they get a lot offended by, uh, you know, uh, like say like you got certain camps that they don't want to talk about or naming the Edomites, all right? You know? We, well, let's not get on Esau. Let's just be all Israel, you know? But it's going to, this, all Israel is going to be taken up within when this uh, R50 microchip be uh, mandatory, all right? Jake, of course, is going to be um, placed with that what? Going to uh, the, uh, our temptation scripture. It's uh, Revelation. What is it? Uh, yep, yeah, get it. Yeah. This is um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right, which that, of course, um, the one that, of course, is going to be uh, kept, all right, um, from the hour of temptation, all right, is going to be the elect, all right? Because the elect is not going to what? As is written, they, they're going to not let any man take thy crown. All right? They're going to uh, be faithful and strive unto the, the truth until death. All right? They're not going to take this chip. All right? Read. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right? So just to go into it, go to uh, world and uh, this uh, uh, actual one, this preset. Uh, it says Okamini. Yep, Okamini. Yep. Okamini. Okay. It says. Um, it says the whole inhabited earth, the world. Right. So it's going to be all right. The whole inhabited earth, everyone. Okay. Everyone is gonna uh, be presented this uh, chip. Okay. The RFID microchip. All right. NFC chip. Okay. Because the elite, of course, is they have, of course, an agenda in which um, they want their new world order, okay? They want, all right, everyone to have this chip. They want to know where everyone's at. They want, of course, uh, to be able to um, diminish, all right, uh, counterfeit comp currency going up, all right, uh, also illegal uh, business transactions, okay? They want everybody a part of this uh, blockchain system, all right, which they, they, they of course, uh, want you, what, everything to be online, all right? They don't want to use, what, like a, um actual physical commodity such as gold or silver or, or even these uh, these debt notes, these bank notes, all right, as a means of uh, legal tender. They okay. want you to uh, have this chip, all right? Got a quick precept. All right, yep, go on. This is um, Habakkuk chapter 2. It's a lot. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine. Right. It's like the wine, of course, is dealing with uh, the philosophy of the so called white man. All right. Which, of course, he has what? He's deceived the whole world. All right. And the part of that wine is. Um, his, um, you know, his technology, all right, which he wants to what? He want to uh, put a chip in you, okay? He's carnal, all right, okay. to try to get his birthright back, all right? It says, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell right. and is as death. Yeah, all right. You know, and that's playing into the point. I mean, if uh, you got anything to speak on that? No, no. no yeah, you know, so so-called white man, of course, obviously, uh, he don't keep at home, as you know. He has uh, over what, uh, over eight hundred or something. Just uh, uh, a rough, uh, rough estimate. Uh, military bases throughout the world. Okay, okay. he's also within. Um, um, he, he, you know, he, he of course uh, is the head. Uh, when you go into it, the Edomites uh, are the, the leaders of uh, the EU. All right, the leaders of um, you have uh, the NATO. All right, which is headed by what? USA, okay? 
which they're Edomites, okay, the, these elites, okay? Donald Trump's an Edomite. He's just nothing but a puppet, all right? And upon him, you know, he has it where, you know, I believe he had mentioned something of, of, along the lines of, uh, he, he had said by 20, I'm, I'm, I have to go into the, the specific dates, uh, maybe 2019, I have to check, but he talked about the a biometric um, identification, all right? I have to go into the specifics, but that's going into the RFID microchip, all right? You know, they they want this chip, all right? There's an agenda, all right, a plan, you know, set for it, uh, you know, to be achieved in a certain amount of time because the so-called white man knows that he has what? What a short time. You can get that scripture too real quick. This is um, Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great, great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, and that, that of course, that um, when you go into it, the devil, that's the so-called white man, all right? The, the physical counterpart for the spiritual demon Satan is the so-called white man. They're the wicked on the earth, all right? They're going to bring about this, all right? So you can go back to what we was at. Um, was it? Habakkuk. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then before that, uh, Revelation 3. Okay. Let's finish, yeah, yeah, finish up. It says, and cannot, cannot be satisfied. It says, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right. So who, who of course, does that? It's only Esau, Edom, all right? Gathered up a heap of up all nations, okay. all right? He going about, of course, uh, conquering all of the lands, naming them after himself, as uh, uh, the book of Psalms, uh, the 49th chapter and 11th verse speaks of. You know, he's, of course, that one that uh, wants his, what, generations to continue, all right? Um, and um, the, the, the so-called white man, all right, he wants everybody in subjection under his rule, all right? The, the so-called white man is adverse to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shot. That's in uh, the book of Psalms. Uh, I believe it's uh, the, the 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 tenth verse or the chapter. So you can get Psalms ten and get uh get go to chap uh, Psalms ten and three. This is it's four is the point. Of God. Uh, this is um Psalms chapter ten verse three. It says, "For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth." The wicked, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. The most not the most high is not in all his thoughts. Right. So Yahweh Shem Yahshua is not in his thoughts, all right? Because uh the so called white man, all right, is not going to uh tell all the people that hey, uh and we go into it and tell the Israelites, all right, of their heritage that they are um the anointed ones, all right, the Hamashiachim of uh, the Lord, all right, the anointed ones, all right, the only ones that and now, uh, of course, allotted to the glory, the covenants of the, um, the, of the um, blessings of the scriptures. He's not going to tell them who they are. And also, he's not going to tell them uh, that he's not supposed to take this mark of the beast. All right. Then you have uh, uh, various pastors. All right. That are you know, going about saying they don't even know what the RFID uh, or that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. Or what is the RFID microchip? Or what is the uh, mark of the beast? They just think it's all speculation with us. And that it says, uh, you know, it'll come out. We already, uh, the, 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 the Lord said we had an unction of all things, all right, and that um, also that um, uh, we know all things, you know. Uh, also, you could get, uh, real quick, get uh, Amos 3, talk about, you know what I'm talking about, yep. This is um, Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely Yahweh the Most High will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right. So the Lord, of course, he will do nothing but reveal, all right, which you, you uh, go into that word for reveal. Mm -hmm. reveal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually want to go into that, you know. We got the word Galah, Galah. which is... You have it there to uncover. You can read the definition. It right says, there. um, to uncover, to remove, 
All right, let's see. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and he has here, let me see, to discover or to show oneself. All right. You know, so the Lord, of course, um, he revealed, all right, which he's being intimate with the elect. Okay. You, when you tell a secret to somebody, all right, that, um, you don't tell it to anybody. Okay. You don't just, you know, and if you do, obviously, you know, that, uh, if you do, that person can go about and, and chat mints or chat shit on you. All right. And, and, and it can also get you in a lot of trouble. All right. You know, but the Lord, you know, the point is he, of course, has uh, revealed or uncovered. All right. All of the mysteries to his servants, the prophets, which they uh, are uh, only, of course, of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. They are the, the prophets. OK. Then they, of course, came back. All right. And regeneration. All right. Um, just a, um, yeah. yeah, that's it, basically, yeah, all right, all right, now, uh, you could go to, um, back to, uh, you could go actually to the, the, um, the precept, Re Revelation 13, going to, uh, the, the, the left hand or right hand, and then the forehead, and then we're going to go into the, a little bit about the, the brain implants. Okay, this is, um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right, which we know that 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 uh, Greek word for, of course, uh, mark is karagma. All right, and it goes into karats, which is something, of course, you go into something that a pale or a palisade, something that's inserted in your body, and that's you know in the book of uh, Leviticus, in the law, you know, uh, the book of Leviticus nineteen, and uh, you know, that I can read it, Leviticus 19 and, and 28. Read that, Dr. Okay. Shah. Okay. All right. This is um Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. It says, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Yeah. So, and, and going, you go into the, the cuttings, all right? You, you can go into that definition real quick. Okay. All right? This chip is an incision, all right? It goes, it penetrates beneath, all right, your flesh, all right? Sharat. Yeah, Sharat. Sharat, okay. It says um, incision, cut. Right. Okay, so we're not allowed to have any incisions or cuttings in the flesh. So we know that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, all right? Simple as that. It's in the scriptures. The understanding is right there. The Lord revealed his secret unto his servants to the, to the servants to prophets. Also, you're going to get, um, I believe it's uh, in Corinthians. I made a second Corinthians. Let's see. Uh, it might be three. And uh, uh, it's uh. It's, uh, get Second Corinthians, or, not Second, get, uh, uh, Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Come, come on. This is, um, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. Right. For if you know who is Satan, the so-called white man, uh, the Edomites, all right? Uh, they're what, the enemy, when you go into the, the, the actual, uh, Understanding of the word or the definition of the word Satan, that means is what? An enemy and adversary, all right? Which Satan is the enemy and adversary of the nation of Israel. We can easily prove that in the scriptures, all right? Uh, the, what is it? The dragon which walked with the woman, all right? Uh, you got it. Uh, you can go even back to the, the book of Genesis about the enmity, all right? Um, that, uh, that, that, the, the, they should put MT. What is it? Uh, maybe Genesis three. Come, come, yeah, go. Let me see that. But I'll finish off that though. Come and then, on. yeah. This is um Second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Right. And what does ignorant means? Uh, go into the definition come and go also to devices. The definition as well. Greek word is you can play it. Uh, click Neo. Strong's G fifty. Agnaeo. Agnaeo. Right. Right. It says to be ignorant, not to know. 
Right. So we we actually know we're not ignorant of the RFID microchip being the mark of the beast. All right. Simple as that. It also says not to understand unknown. Yeah, that's that's it. You know, we have the understanding. Okay. All right. Because what? The Lord of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, um, get Revelation um, 3 and 20 real quick. This is um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and he and will sup with him and he with me. Right. So, well, of course, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he's going to do what? He's going to come and sup with us. All right, Yahweh Shai he sucks with us, giving us what this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding unto us, you know, giving us that access to that tree of not life. All right, which uh, you can go. Uh, well, uh, when you go into the, the the meaning of sup, you can go into it. It says um to dine. Yeah, you know, so he Yahweh Shem is feeding us. All right, with this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right, that's why. Out of uh, you know, our belly is flowing what nothing but rivers, water, our uh, rivers of living water. All right, that's why the elect is a precious thing. All right, until Yahweh Shem Yahshai will be very coveted and sought after in the days of uh, of uh, trouble. All right, when this distress happens to all of the inhabitants of this earth. Okay, the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahshai start with the hundred forty-four thousand prophets. All right, they of course are the ones that have the knowledge and wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right, who the Lord is supping with. All right, okay, well, who He tells, of course, His uh, His unknown things too. All right, He's actually putting the uh, the words in our mouths. All right, we are the mouth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right, simple as that. All right, so, God, yeah, we covered a lot of ground. Uh, go to now the brain uh, or wherever that. The title of the article is Memory Boosting Brain Implants Are in the Works. Would you get one? Right. So you see it here that there's a memory boosting brain implant. All right. Which go back to the prophecy in Revelation 13 about uh, in the forehead. Kind. This is um, Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. It says, And he causeth all, both small and great, Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. So you have it there in the forehead, okay, which they have it here, a memory boost, boosting implant, all right, brain implant, okay, which that's going to go in your brain, okay, are in the works. Actually, they already have the technology, but, you know, you can go and read into it, okay. all right. It says, um, how far would you go to keep your mind from failing? Would you go so far as to let a doctor drill a hole in your skull and stick a micro microchip in your brain? It tell you right there, stick a microchip, all right? You know, right there in your brain. So, and that's the R for the microchip, which is, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's going to come in various uh, sizes, you know. I mean, going to, uh, you know, I may, it might be a bit different with uh, these certain brain implants. But you have it there, that hole that's being drilled, all right? That's an incision. Okay, when you drill something, all right, in something, you're cutting into it, all right? Just so that you understand, all right, you simple ones out there, all right? Uh, you know, I'm going to quickly go to drill in the uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary, all right, which it says, uh, uh, all right, I'm going to actually go to drilling, all right? Oh, actually here, uh, it says to pierce or bore a hole in something. All right, so the that right there to pierce is is right there, which it means to penetrate into or run through. Okay, that's an incision. It says as a sharp or pointed dagger, or object. Okay, and that's that palace. You know that palisade. All right, it has to be implanted. Uh, you have it where the the the, reg, the RFID microchip, which is you no know, with the regular one with the go through the hand and such. That has to be what injected via syringe. You have it here. They're gonna use a drill. Huh. Oh. It says, it's not an idle question. In recent years, neuroscientists have made major advances in cracking the code of mem memory 
figuring out exactly how the human brain stores information and learning to reverse engineer the process. Huh, you have it there. So they actually want to go against the actual um, will of the Most High, which, you know, we know that we're in the flesh and such, but they want to carnally go with transhumanism, all right, to merge what? Man and machine, okay? This is, of course, uh, you know, going into um, how um, they, they're going to um, use their technology in order to... Um, so-called increase, all right, or go above what a man can do, all right, on this side, all right, because, you know, we're, we, of course, are, are subject unto uh, memory loss, okay, as we age, all right, you, you know, your mind, of course, uh, loses, uh, you know, memory and such, function and such, you know, um, and, uh, and just in general, we're just in the flesh, and, you know, the flesh is weak, okay, uh, so in that the neuro that deals with your brain, brain sign, uh, brain doctors and such. All right, Kai. It says now they've reached the stage where they're starting to put all of that theory into practice. Right, Kai. So it is being put, all right, into practice. All right. So you know they they're not just uh, thinking about these thoughts and the th theories and such and hypotheses. They're actually putting it into into actual practice. All right. Which uh, I want you to actually go to the Etamon on online real quick and look up the word practice. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, it says um to do, act, to follow or employ. Right. Yeah. So, and, and it says, read on. It says, um, to carry on a profession, especially medicine. Right. Especially in medicine. And now go down to uh, where it says here uh, from the medieval Latin. Procure or procure. It says, um, from the medieval Latin, to care, to do, perform, practice. Right. Right. And, they, and they even going from the Greek, which is practical. All right, uh, and that just pertains on to matters of uh, practice. All right, so they're going to go about to do, all right, or to act on their thoughts, all right, to do this, all right. This isn't something, as we say, is uh, intangible, all right. Like you have certain people that are just uh, uh, ignorant of the actual this actual technology that's being advanced here today, all right. We have here brain implants. We have here... RFID microchip implants, okay, used in Sweden, used in the UK. Okay. You can go and skip to the article real quick, just to show. So the chip is actually here, all right, just so that you know, you, you know, it's here. You can, you know, look at the images or whatever. Read that, actually. Let me just go up. Right there. Okay. It says, last month, two research teams reported success at using electrical signals carried into the brain via implanted wires to boost memory in small groups of test patients. It's a major milestone in demonstrating the ability to restore memory function in humans, says Dr. Robert Hampson, a neuroscientist at Wake Forest School of Medicine and the leader of one of the teams. Right, so you, you see it here, you know, they've been uh, uh, using, uh, in, um, furthering their technology, all right, into, or into uh, improving or to boost, all right, the function and memory, all right, of humans, okay, and they're using this via their technology, okay. You can uh, even read down to uh, this. You can, you can, uh, yeah, just read that too. So. Okay. It yeah, says it, is, so. it says the research is funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which sees brain implants as a life-changing technology for the two hundred. 70,000 American soldiers who have suffered a tra traumatic brain injury in combat. Says the possible applications go much further, however. Brain implants could also change the lives of millions of Americans battling Alzheimer's disease and other cognitive disorders. So you have it there that you have it here that uh, so certain of uh, soldiers, which they, of course, uh, you know, they may, of course, just, uh, um, receive, uh, uh, you say, substantial damage, all right? Uh, they may, of course, get hit with a, a wound, all right, from a, a bullet, all right. But, you know, you have it, or just a blow in general, all right, in combat, 
you know, anything's possible in combat, all right? I mean, they're using, okay, uh, the, this brain implant, all right, for uh, traumatic injuries, all right? You know, brain trauma, all right, concussions, okay? Severe con concussions and such, all right? So when we say here at Great Millstone that there's uh, uh, soldiers that are walking about with the chip, we're not lying. The information already tell you that it's two is is almost near three hundred thousand American soldiers that um that um have been injured in battle, all right, in combat, all right, and they using this technology, all right. I got pre Con pre yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um this is Ezekiel chapter um twenty eight verse three. It says, "Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel." There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Right, which I go into the damn Edomites, all right? Mm -hmm. They're wiser than Daniel, all right? Which Daniel was a wise prophet, okay. all right? Daniel Allah, all right? Uh, Yahweh Judge, all right? I believe that goes into his name and such, all right? You know, Daniel mm -hmm. broke down the the, the, uh, the dream for Nebuchadnezzar, all right? So these damn Edomites, all right, they have a nod of, of course, knowledge that Yahweh Shem Shai gave them. As, uh, you know, I had mentioned, uh, the, you know, the technology, you know, mm -hmm. that goes into, you know, the different miracles and such. All right. Um, Got one more precept. Yep, yep. This right. is um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. It says, for there shall arise false Christ, right, false Hamashiachs, yep. and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Right. You know, so there, there of course, are f f false, uh, you say you got false anointed ones out there. All right. When you have it, um, you know, uh, right now at the tall all time high, you have uh, many, of course, uh, uh, you have it, um, various camps are uh, going about, and you know, you got different YouTube pages. These people are saying that uh, that, that that's not the chip. You know, you got like I said, they have uh, this dude uh, Geno Jenkins. All right, he's a he called himself an apostle. He ain't one sent out by Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, though he's calling himself an apostle. Uh, and he don't know the RFID chip market chip is the market of the beast when it's all out there on the online. This is crazy. So we are in the end because these prophecies which Yahweh Shai, all right, gave unto his disciples, was later turned into apostles, all right. These things are happening. We see, of course, false uh, anointed ones going about, all right, false prophets. Kind of right? like to say this real quick, yep. I can um. And Daniel, it says that thou art wiser than than um than Daniel. Mm -hmm. Basically, these Edomites through their um their uh their technology, mm -hmm. they're dis, um able to deceive these people yep. that uh, Esau is this great man that there's nothing he can't do. Like, like it says in the verse that with show great signs and wonders that he should, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So uh -huh. through his technology and his wisdom, mm -hmm. he's deceiving these people. Yep. Yeah, that's that's actually that's that's hundred percent correct. All right, but he's not going to deceive the elect because what the elect have been received. All right, the the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the commandments, and the instruction from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They know that the chip is the mark of the beast. All right, they know of these prophecies that have been written in the scriptures. All right, we're holding fast and, and not, of course, letting go. All right, we're not letting these false prophets and those that, of course, that don't uh, see or don't have the faith to know. All right, to, to to believe in what the scriptures are saying, they, a lot of people these are they 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 going off of their own vain opinion, and they're gonna be destroyed. All right, and yeah, what the op said was a uh, hundred, you know. All right, go now to uh, I want you to go to Revelations twenty, and go to uh, four. Time. Time. This is Revelations chapter twenty verse four. It says, "And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them." And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Right. This is the elect is talking about. Gotcha. All right. Read. It says, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. Right. You know. Right. So you have it there, you know, yeah, because cause you have to understand that. There's going to be certain Akim, they're actually going to get put to death, all right, for not taking the chip, okay? As you know that the Esau is the sword, he's coming as a, as a uh, what? As is written in the book of uh, uh, Second Edges, he's coming as a madman sparing none, all right? 
And this is going to be a trial of the faith of the, of the elect of Israel. All right. Which, you know, we got to what? We have to strive unto the truth unto death. All right. We can't lose our integrity. We can't let up. All right. We got to cleave on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Into the end. All right. Uh, God. Uh, yep. Last scripture. Uh, you could go to Revelation 14. This is um, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Right, his righteous anger. The Lord, of course, is going to give you, what? A hot nuclear missile. Destruction. All right, the second death. If you, of course... Uh, Take this chip, all right? Because when you take this chip, you're telling to you, how about Shem Shai, that you don't want to serve him, all right? You want to, of course, uh, accept the so-called white man who is Esau Edom as your master, your yeah. lord, all right? Or uh, Adawan Ka, all right? You want Esau, uh, who is um, Edom, to, of course, be your lord and not Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? Uh, I got a quick reset. Yeah, uh, this is um This is Isaiah chapter 30 verse 2. It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen I'll, I'll read for the Con, This is um Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. It says woe to the rebellious children right? saith Yahweh. Destruction. That's what woe means. All right. Read. It says that take counsel but not of me. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Right, you know, so they, what, they leaping up, of course, uh, uh, iniquity upon themselves, all right? And they're not putting on this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all right? They're not putting on that, that breastplate, all right, to, to, to be able to what, uh, to, to, to be able to what, uh, roughly paraphrase, uh, survive the wiles of the, the fiery darts of the devil. Uh, you won't get that one, too, but read on and finish. Uh -huh. It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right. You know, and, and this whole, you know, system, when you go into it, this is, of course, as you is written in the scriptures, that this is what spiritually um, uh, Sodom in Egypt. All right. Yep. Um, it's uh, uh, the, the, the place where what? Where the Israelites went into uh, captivity by the way of ships, as in Deuteronomy 28, all right, and 68, all right, which we know that um, the, the, the nation of Israel, all right, uh, you got both the northern and southern kingdom, Judah and uh, Yahweh they, of course, uh, have been oppressed together, all right, we're all here, okay? Con, if I could say this, I, the same way that the, um, the Israelites put their trust in Egypt and in Pharaoh back then, mm -hmm. they're putting their trust in America and also the so-called white man. Right now, these yep. Edomites. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You know, they don't they don't put on uh, this knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Okay, and thus that's why they're going to be destroyed. All right, mm -hmm. they're not going to have that covering. All right, from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, they're serving the devil. Shlachi uh, Askim. We back again. Shatan, of course, uh, tried to you know, distract us, playing the, the fire alarm, because of course we being the prophets are blowing that trumpet. Uh, but we ain't letting that force uh, that deter us, all right? Okay. This is um Isaiah chapter 30, verse 3. It says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Right. And we're going into, like, um, you know, this is, this is spiritual Sodom in Egypt, so the new Pharaoh, all right, is these Edomites, all right? And they are the so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, which are the Israelites, they actually... Put their strength in these damn devils, all right? Okay? But that's going to be what? Your shame, okay? okay? Yep. Now, the times are coming in. You're going you're gonna to be you're gonna be shameful because you're going to find out that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is not dealing with you, all right? Uh, that's it. All right. Uh... Now, uh, go to uh, Ephesians uh, 6 and 16. Okay. Let me 
you start it. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. This is um, Ephesians chapter six verse eleven. It says, "Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Right. You know, so you got to put on this armor. You got to put on this truth. All right. Uh -huh. There's wisdom, knowledge, understanding that's gonna, of course, um, defend you, keep you safe. All right. Give you that discernment. All right. Have you have temperance amongst uh, these damn devils? As Yahweh about Shema Shai say, he send or Yahweh Shai says. You know, uh, it says uh, he sent us as what uh, sheep as amongst <laughs> wolves. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. Satan, of course, try to come at you with what? When you go into the word for uh, going to, uh, I think it's uh, uh, wilds. Yeah, going to wilds. Um, for the word wilds, it has Strong's G thirty one eighty, Methodia. 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 It says, cunning arts, deceit, deceit, craft, trickery. Right. Okay. Which, that's that's all into the blessings of uh, of, sa of Satan, the so-called white man. All right. Which he received as what? That serpent in the garden. So now I want you to go to Genesis. All right. Uh, three. Okay. And one. This is um, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh the Most High had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Right. Which that going to the, the uh, you know, they wanted the different philosophies and such, all right? You know? Uh, but I want you to just go to the, go to a uh, subtile. He, the serpent was more, than, go to the, the, the definition of uh, serpent subtile. It says, um, subtile, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible, crafty. Okay. And uh, yeah, for for uh, subtile, go from the Hebrew word, a rum, all right, a rum, or I rum, slach, all right, that's an I, a ra, and a ma, all right, I rum, which you have it, I rum, one, one, uh, right here. All right, which it means, yeah, subtle, crafty, sly, sensible. All right, now uh, you could, you could read uh, that from the top and then go to verse fourteen. Con, it says this is Genesis chapter three, verse one. It says, "Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh the Most High had made." And he said unto the woman, "Yea, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden." Right. Now you know, even just now, go, go real quick to. Uh, Psalms, real quick, before we go to that, 58, all right, and, uh, yep, the, the point is for, yep, all right. Kind of, because, um, Psalms 58 and 3, it says, the wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Right, you know, because how about Shem Shai designed them to be, what, be wicked, the vessels of dishonor, all right, we... It says, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Right. You know, so the, the serpent is actually the wicked, which the wicked are the Edomites. All right. So we know that that same Racha, our spirit, that was in, all right, the serpent is in the wicked, all right, being the Edomites. All right. Okay. Here, they're here today. Okay. Simple as that. All right. They were in Cain and in Esau. All right. Okay. All right. So, so you have to understand it's not what a fucking physical, slack for my rude speech, a physical serpent talking to a, a man and a woman in the garden so that you know, okay? <laughs> you know, so, you know, the Bible is written in uh, dark sands and, and parables, and, you know, through thy precepts we get understanding, okay? The Lord reveals his secrets unto the service of the prophets. So, you know, for some of y'all that are just coming into this, you know, you got to, of course, uh, put off all of the former uh you know, things that you, you know, you thought of these, of the scriptures and what you've been taught, you know, and come in and put on, uh, you know, and come as a babe, a newborn babe and desire to sense your milk. Okay. All right. Now go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Go out of here. This is, um, Proverbs chapter 28, verse five. It says, evil men understand not judgment, 
but they that seek Yahweh understand all things. Ah, and, and that's how um, the Akim, through the spirit and power of the Most High, through the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Kadash, are able to understand these these scriptures. Because wow. it says, um, but such as, it's a lot. It says, but they that seek Yahweh understand all things because we're seeking the Most High. That's why we're able to understand these things. We're seeking the Most High in sincerity. Ah, yep. Okay. Yep. Because, you know, we got to, uh, as the scriptures say, you know, uh, when you come, the, the, you have the, the true worship shall worship the power. All right. Um, uh, let me see. In you, spirit and in truth. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Kind of the water. Yeah. You got, you got, you can't, you got to be sincere. All right. And which that goes into it, that's, that's the elect because the elect, they're the only ones that have, uh, that, that pure heart, they're washed clean by the uh, word of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right? They got that true baptism, all right? You know, they have been purified, made pure. They're going to be the ones that's found without guile, all right? They're going to have that covert of Yahweh Shai, all right, in a time of its destruction. Huh? Okay. Let me get back to Revelation. Uh, uh, I mean, Genesis oh, uh, a lot. Go back yes. to Genesis and then, 14. yeah. I believe it, it it mentions about on the belly thou shalt go okay. or something of that nature. This is um Genesis chapter three verse fourteen. It says, "And Yahweh the Most High said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life." Right. So that's a parable talking about, of course, how you know these damn devils. They 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 of course. Being what subtile, all right, you know, they're they're gonna be low, all right, and of course, um, they're gonna be in what the dust and the confusion and such, all right, you know, these damn devils, all right, they they try to come across uh, being humble and low, and they what go about just to strike you, okay, all right, okay, when you go into it, okay, okay they, they strike you with that poison, okay. all right, but they foreseen as if they're not, uh, um, uh, they're as if they're not uh, a fucking uh, a, a, a predator. All right. A quick precept. Okay. It says, this is at, um, Psalm chapter 55, verse 21. It says, the words of his mouth were smoother, smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Right. And that, you know, that go into uh, also with Yag and such. How they, of course, so-called white man, of course, uh, you know, made different various treaties with the, uh, the Gadites. All right. Um, you know, so-called so North American uh, Indians. All right. So, uh, you have, uh, of course, also uh, uh, Simeon, all right? I believe uh, so-called um, Seminole, or I said, uh, I got to go back if it's, uh, I believe it's Sim Simeon, uh, for so-called Seminole Indians, it's Reuben. I got to go, let me just check real quick, so I can, um, well, you had, uh, yeah, you had it, uh, Reuben, Raw Bond, all right, which is Seminole Indians, all right? You know, they tried, of course, uh, you know, the so-called white men came with them trying to make, di well, they made different various treaties and they broke all of them, okay. all right? And they destroyed them. And as you can see to this day, you know, they, they put them in, uh, you know, took the land, put them in Indian reservations and, of course, uh, went about to uh, what? Uh, take. They took their language. They even, uh, re you know, re-educated re them, all right? Gave them their philosophies. You know, because Gad and such, they, of course, had this place as a, a paradise. They... They, of course, are Israelites, okay? And the original inhabitants, of course, they from the northern kingdom, all right? Along with the re rest of the tribes, of course, you know, of the northern kingdom, all right? They, of course, are over here in peace and harmony. The so-called white man came, you know, uh, with war in his heart and being subtile, all right? And actually went and uh, overthrew them, okay? Which you're going to get uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, it's in the, uh, is it 10? Or, uh, maybe it's 12? Uh, uh, 12 and 10. This is um, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Alright, so we're not to trust, alright, the so-called white man who's Esau Edom. Alright? He's that serpent. All right, he's the devil. They're the wicked, okay, of the, of the Bible. All right, they're Satan, right? Satan is, never trust thine enemy. Don't trust Satan, Shatan, all right? Like iron rusts, so with his wickedness, all right? And read on verse 11. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, 
and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Right. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Right. You go into close scrutiny, you, you see, going to the so-called white man, look what he did to all our people. He fucking overthrew them, destroyed them. All right. So you're not supposed to, of course, trust the enemy. And, you know, going into it, you're not supposed to trust the so-called white man with him telling you taking a chip. All right. And basically, we're going to close off on that. You know, telling you that what the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. All right, and us Israelites, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, and of course those that have been scattered. All right, amongst the rest of the four wings, but their spirit bear witness our spirit. All right, that their Israelites, their lineage go back to an Israelite, not their father's line. All right, and this was all determined through the spirit. All right, we gotta believe that Yahweh Hashem is gonna protect us, and we can't take the chip. We gotta believe His word, not the enemy's word. All right. Uh, Anything else? No, All right. Um, oh, get the last scripture. Uh, I don't know if you had got it. The wiles of the devil. In Ephesians? Yeah. Con. You read that? Uh, I didn't finish it. All right, Con, yeah, you read that and then we'll see. Okay. This is um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. It says, Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right? Yeah, going into that craftiness and that, that slyness of the fucking so-called white man who's a devil. All right? Con. And uh, that's it. Let me read verse um, 13. Yep. Um, this is Ephesians 6 and 13. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Ah. Yeah. You know, if you want to expound on you can. Yeah, talking about the evil day. The evil day is talking about um, J Jacob's trouble. Ah. And if you um adhere to these words, and you... um. Put it in your heart wholeheartedly and believe in them, have faith in the Most High and Yahweh Shai, you're going to be able to withstand in the evil day because the Most High is going to protect you. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, that's right. You know, so, you know, you got to have this truth. You got to have this hedge in Yahweh Shai. All right. Put on righteousness, you know. You know, that's that's what we're supposed to do. All right, so with that, we're just going to close out and give all praises to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, and of course, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who wealth. And of course, hopefully you're edified. All right. Shalom. Shalom.